That's what I liked about it. There was not that I want a happy ending all the time, but um, there, there's, there's hope in it. Yeah, I try to like. I mean, endings are tough, but I'm not um, a person who necessarily wants to write like a downer, downer ending, like a soul crushing ending. I don't hate those endings. Like I like reading them sometimes. Some, you know, Paul Tremblay's books are. I mean, they, they're they like, you know, you get to the end and you're like, I have killed you. You are dead now. I've taken your heart and <laughs> stepped on it. So, and, I, and I'm like, yeah, thank you. Thank you, daddy. Do it again. So um, <laughs> I definitely don't hate that. But like when I write an ending, I also don't want it to be a happy preview. I don't feel like happy endings are like realistic either. I, I feel like in life, a lot of times everything is really complicated. And like even talking about the characters having these sort of like moral complexity and nuance to them. I like to have that nuance and the ending is itself kind of a character. And I want it to be, I like Pyrrhic victories. Like, yeah, you maybe accomplish something uh, and maybe things worked out in some directions, but then, you know, at what cost and what was lost. And I think there's important time to measure um, the successes versus what you had to pay to get to that point. And I like an ending that has that weight can't just be a, a like a frictionless joy fest like we did it like high fives everybody high fives all around like we you know there's got to be that like you know and like in survivor if you watch survivor it's always like we're lighting the torches of the people we voted off the island it's like we got to see you know what what the cost was at the end